Well, congratulations on a, on a terrific knock. I know you didn't get the, the ton that you would have wanted, um, but you surely can be pleased with your own individual effort and the, and the team's efforts today with the battle with the ball. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, obviously good not to get there, but to contribute again with the bat, obviously I've spoken a lot about not you know, contributing as much as I would have liked last year, so um, you know, to get a score in the second game was real pleasing and so yeah, really, really made it for Carl as well. Um, I thought he batted beautifully and to build a partnership with him was great. I think uh, everyone in the ground knew that the first half an hour or so of the of the morning session was going to be quite an important sort of defining factor in how this first innings might go and how the match might go as uh, overall. Um, you know, what were you thinking heading out into the crease with uh, with Calvin alongside you? Just carrying on what we we did last night. To be honest, um, just keep building that partnership. Uh, we knew if we got through that first kind of half hour hour, um, there'd be a few tired legs. <clears throat> Try and cash in a bit later on. So. Yeah, we didn't really change too much from what we thought about the night before, really. And credit to Calvin as well. He's got his uh, his first class best with the with the bat, and uh, he's grabbed three wickets after mm. that as well. He's, he's had a terrific day, hasn't he? Yeah, he's obviously an incredibly talented all round cricketer. Um, thought he batted beautifully, as I said, and then well, first his slip catch today was obviously incredible, one of the best I've seen actually. Um, and then obviously to come away with three wickets, thought he bowled beautifully. He was unlucky. I think Rob Jones played him really well at the start, um, but once you know he got into his rhythm, he bowled beautifully, and yeah, deserved three wickets. How much of an asset is Calvin proving to be? He can do it with the bat, he can do it with the ball, and he can do it in the slips. Uh, he's, he's proving incredibly useful to the team, isn't he? Yeah, I think so. I think I mean we've seen it for a while now. He trains incredibly hard, and the fact that he can contribute across all three facets of the game, um, obviously a great kind of thing for us to have in, in our locker, I guess. Um, a multi-format player as well, so yeah, long may it continue. And the game definitely swung in a, in a few different directions over the course of today. Um, but how happy can you be with of where the team have, have left it on the end of day two? Yeah, happy. I mean, you know, 180 odd ahead, um, six down. Hopefully, you know, try and get those four wickets as quickly as we can in the morning. Um, it's starting to spin a little bit more. Um, so hopefully, Calvin and, and Liam can, you know, really work the magic uh, later on in the game. Um, yeah, we've got a pitch up in the morning. You know, can't just expect it to happen. Make sure you know come in hard and make sure we get those four wickets as quick as we can and go from there. Do you think that, that wicket might prove particularly useful for the bowling lineup that, that we've got uh, in this match? Yeah, I think so. I think, you know, me, myself, Fletch and Dill probably have to go hard with the new ball. It's definitely a new ball pitch for the seamers, I think. I think once it gets past the 15 odd over mark, especially with the Cookerbura, not as much for us there. Um, I thought Dylan bowled beautifully, actually he used his pace and bounce very well. Uh, to get Kashif Ali out at that point was crucial uh, and obviously great to have Fletch back, uh, his energy and great to get, see him get a pole so, so early. Uh, but we know our role, we've just got to you know, do a job you know, as early as we can I guess with the newish ball and then if it has to be bowling bumpers to the long side, whatever it might be, you've got to be ready to do it. So as I said, hope, you know, hopefully it's starting to spin a little bit more so hopefully the spinners can come into the game later on. Talking of fast starts, Fletch with his uh, with his third ball, uh, getting his first wicket of the season, his first appearance of the season. Um, it's great to see him back, isn't it? Oh, definitely. Never in doubt, to be honest. I mean, again, he's worked so hard to get himself back. Was he gutted for him last year? Um, you know, he's one of the like, one, of the, one of the best bowlers around. Always got a smile on his face. And as soon as obviously Forrest started playing over the other side, he was properly revved up. And you know, yeah, buzzing for him to get a pole in his first over. Yeah, fantastic. And uh, like you said, Dylan with a, a couple as well. It was it was overall that the ideal started that you would have wanted with the ball? I think so, yeah. As I said, it did feel like it, you'd have to try and get a couple of poles early with a new ball or else it could become difficult for Seamers. Um, so yeah, Calvin's catch, obviously to get removed Jake Levy, we know it can be real dangerous. Um, I think, yeah, we got those two poles early and we worked out a way of trying to get another pole by getting, you know, bowling a few short ones to cash and, it, and that, that fortunately worked. Um, but yeah, then also, yeah, as I said, Calvin and, and Pat are both beautiful. I think they were unlucky at the start, um, but then they both settled into the rhythms beautifully and obviously, yeah, got rewards later on. Rob Jones was looking particularly dangerous for Worcester. Must have been feeling really good, making sure he wasn't getting to that to that century and, uh, and you know making it look pretty much in your, in your favour. Then. Yeah, I think he played beautifully. To be fair to him, um, you know, he used his feet really well to spinners, put them under pressure, swept really well, um, and to the seam as well. You know, he played that really well. So. Um, yeah, obviously buzzing we've got him out, um, but as I say, we've got to pitch up in the morning and get those four poles as quick as we can.